Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Windows tab in DaVinci Resolve. The Windows tab I don't use often, and usually I only use it for like the basics, like making a vignette, but it can be a very powerful tool to create your own look. First, you have one, the square, pretty easy, self-explanatory. Each side, you have a feathering option, and I'm just going to show you the basics first, so I'm actually going to start with the circle. So I'm going to show you how to make a vignette with this. Now, usually what I do, bump that up to 70, turn the softness to about 7, then you can go to here, bring down the curves, and what this does is it makes it darker in the mid-tones, then you invert this, and bam, you already have a vignette. And let's say you think that this vignette is too harsh, you can bring it up, you can bring it down for even more vignette, you can bring it more towards the highs to get it a little darker can bring it more low so it's kind of like more of a contrast curve you can add more softness if you want and you can make the size a little bit bigger and there we have a basic vignette and another thing you can do is you can edit this vignette make it different colors but to make it stand out from the background more and highlight the subject you can add a blur it can create more visual interest towards the subject so that's off and that's on. That's one thing you can do with the windows. A second thing you can do with the windows, I will turn that off. You have this pen and you wanna select the subject. Here I wanna select the tree. So you can add a point, add another point, drag it. You can click and drag to make it curve. Then you can add another point, click and drag, click on the other side, click and drag here. And it's just like Photoshop where you can select the subject. Now, right now, to this, you can even invert it and you can see here it's selecting the outside, but I want to select the inside. Let's say you want to turn up the exposure on the subject so it stands out. So I'll go ahead and do that. That brings it up a little bit. And let's say you want to make it stand out more. So we'll make it a little bit more warm, a little bit more yellow. And what we can do with this is add another node, connect this blue part of the node to the other blue part of the node. And what this does is it creates the same mask. And what we can do is invert it in the key input tab. And now we have selected our background and we can add contrast. So I can blur the background more if I wanted. I could darken the background and I could even make it a different color. So let's do that. And I can go back to the original tab right here and bring the softness a little bit up just to feather it a bit. There we go. We have selected a subject and it's now bringing it out more. It stands out a lot more. And this is really good for like YouTube and stuff like that. If you really want to have your subject just stand out. But for filmmaking, you usually want to do this in camera. It looks less professional, but it's still manageable and it still helps a lot. So we have that and we can also turn on our vignette. Yet. To me though, this seems a little bit too much, so I'm gonna turn these first two off. I will get rid of the blur and I'll just keep it like this. And the last window that I want to show you is the gradient tool. So the gradient tool, what you can do is hold shift H and you can see how much gradient you want. You can add more softness. I will add seven. I'll bring up the tilt 90 degrees. We can grab this, go over here. It's kind of like a gradient. You can have it from one side and I've done this in a few of my past short films. I try to keep it low though because it can sometimes look artificial and it really creates contrast between this side of the image and that side of the image. And what we can do is even change the color. And I did this in a lot of my short films. This looks a lot more natural than selecting your subject, but still, it still looks a little unnatural, but it's great to add more visual interest. So this is day eight of a challenge that I'm doing. Now that I showed you how to select subjects and edit with windows, you can see how to select certain colors here using the color picker. 